Hey, it's the next episode of how to make a custom pipe bag cover. Um, so the next stage, I've, I've got a piece of sheet because uh, it's actually this actually represents a bit of a shortcut too. If you don't want to go through the whole measuring thing and and cutting a paper pattern, if you're just doing a one-off, as you can see, I've got this piece of sheet. It's sort of sacrificial. So I take a spot on the sheet and I draw. A really clumsy line there, but six, a six inch long straight line. Just dad all over the place. I mark in the middle three inches. We're marking the middle. I measure out three and over one. Measure over three and back one. So there's my tenor drone, my middle drone, my base drone, my outside drone. And typically the blowpipe is about five inches forward, but more typically it's equal distance between the middle drone and the end of the of the pipe bag neck. So it, you may it's worth your time to measure as a one-off. So I marked that as well. I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna reduce this to size. go I do it here this is actually a good um, I noticed that I just ripped it far too short but we're just gonna carry on with this um, one more Right, now I've, um, I've screwed up because I've ripped this about a foot too short, but we're gonna, we're gonna work around. So there's my three marks for the drones. I'm gonna cut a star shape in the middle of each of them. Incidentally, you know, folk have been asking about uh, my production schedule, when I'm going to put new videos up, and I often wonder why <clears throat> they sort of occur out of sequence and rather haphazardly. Well, the problem I've got is I have to fit this in between my own work schedule because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a working tailor, and, uh, and my videographer has his own personal and academic life to live as well, so it's, it's all happens on the when we can we plan. So there I've cut just simple crosses for all four. I take me take my pipe bag. Somebody's going to run it badly. This is just a comedy of errors. Dropped a cork. It's gonna have to stop it, I think. So, so I've inflated the bag. I've got the star, the, the holes roughly cut, just a, a, a star, as it were, in each. Helps if I put the, the right drone through each. One. Let's go. Two, three, now I can put my blowpipe back in. So Looking at it, I've so inflated it tight. The holes are in about the right spot. I think this one, the base drone, 
could possibly come over a little bit. So I'm just going to make a mark to bring it over, let's say half an inch. I'm writing on the cloth, but I could also just be writing notes on the pad. But the other two are fine. Maybe I'm going to bring that out half an inch, right? Because I can just see from the wrinkles. Ooh, looks all right. That looks all right. Maybe we can bring this forward just ever so slightly. And now, just follow the cloth around, and I can mark. Okay. This. That's how long the neck will be. Now, as far as the rest of it, it's possibly easier if you've got two people doing this. One person has the pipe tucked into the oxter, and the other person keeps the blowpipe from getting into their ear. The other person could mark with a pencil and a chalk, or alternately, you could have sooty hands if you had if you had um, candle soot or if you had anything, even even frankly, just something dark and greasy on your fingers. You could just pinch the bag at the seam. And leave hand marks or just just mark the bag mark 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 all the way up to the top on both ends this as you can see i foolishly cut this piece of cloth a little short but i can just make a note here that this has to be four inches longer because we wanted a generous over overhang we don't want the end of the bag peeking out so i'm gonna make a note to myself that it should be a hands width farther aft there but again, I could I could pin that together, always being very careful not to puncture the bag, of course. Fun fact, um, in the 17th and 18th centuries, and probably earlier, um, people, uh, trolls have, of the time, thought it was uh, fun to sneak up on a guy publicly playing his pipes and puncture the bag with a, with a darning needle on the end of a stick and then running away. So, jokes against bagpipes have always been with us. So... Mark the holes, inflate it, mark with chalk or with a pencil or with dirty fingers, just a series of marks along to, to show the outside of the, the outline of the bag. And we want to be generous. We want to give us maybe an inch and a half or even a two inch seam allowance on either side. So we make our marks, then we add two inches all the way around because it's easy to take cloth off, but it's a little bit harder to put cloth back on. So the next stage from here is to lay the cloth out. And as you can see, I've made some marks. Looking here, you can see I've made a pencil mark. We now see where the neck of the bag shall go. Pencil marks on the other side. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to add two inches all around, and I can just do that by eye, right? Do it the same on the other side. Do another trial fitting and then possibly baste it together with white thread, just a loose running stitch, and then try the third time. And that takes us to the end of this session. I'm not sure when I can get to the third session or the next session, I should say, because I've got a ton of paying work to get out the door to keep the bills paid, sort of thing. And but in our next session, we will lay this out on the on the on the material, we'll make a pattern. We'll talk about choices of the cloth, what cl cloth um, choices we must consider when, when selecting cloth. And then this episode, probably after that, I'll show you how to make the, the I don't have a word for them, the tubes, the, 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 the pieces that cover the drone stocks and how to do that. And incidentally, I, I should have said in the beginning, this is a nice shortcut. I mean, you, you can go mathematically and plot the whole thing and draw it and then transfer it to a, a cloth pattern and test it. But you can go, you can shortcut to this stage, take a piece of cloth, cut the holes, drape it over the bag, mark it. And then if you're just doing one off, you just take this, pin it to the cloth that you're gonna use and begin the construction. So there we are, slightly disjointed account, but join us next time. I'm not sure when, but we'll proceed with uh, showing you how to do this. Thank you.